Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen with another live coding uh, challenge. So today we are tackling a problem that's not just about algorithm, it's about survival. So eliminate maximum number of monster. So it's the challenge and it's just as epic as it sounds. So sharpen your minds because it's time to defend our city in virtual world. So imagine this, uh, monster are marching toward our city and we know how far they are and how fast they are coming. And our goal is to eliminate as many as we can before even one monster breaches the city wall. And the twist, we can only take down one monster per minute. Uh, it's perfect mix of strategy and speed. So let's visualize with an example. So uh, let's say we have a monster at distance one, three, uh, four. So, if we have one, three, four, one, uh, three, four, uh, all moving at speed one kilometer per minute. So we start with a fully charged weapon. So we take uh, out the first monster at distance one. Uh, and uh, after one minute, the distance updates to, uh, yeah, kill uh, two and three. So we take down the monster and we take down the next one uh, and so on uh, until uh, we reach uh, yeah. Uh, so then we will have uh, X, X and uh, two. Uh, and finally third, so output needs to be uh, free. So uh, before we jump into the coding, let's think about the logic. So we uh, calculate the time each monster uh, takes to reach the city by uh, yeah uh, by dividing their distance by their speed so it makes sense to sort these uh, times because we need to deal with the most uh, immediate uh, threats first so those are the monster that will uh, reach us uh, sooner so it's a greedy approach so let's put uh, this logic into the code. So uh, we will start with Python, a language uh, known for its readability and simplicity, uh, but I will also provide uh, implementation in the description, link to implementation, to uh, implementation in Rust, Go, uh, yeah, C++ and more. So uh, first uh, calculate the time to CT for each monster. So time to CT will be distance I divided by speed I for I in range of length of distance and sort the times. Time to CT sort. And next, eliminate monsters one by one. So for I in range, then time to CT, if time to CT at I less than our I, a monster has reached the CT, return the count. So return I. And if all monsters are eliminated, return the total, the total uh, count. So return our len distance. So uh, this is our implementation. Uh, so let's run this uh, with our example and see if our logic uh, holds up. So hopefully it will. Uh, so yeah, uh, 79 milliseconds, uh, one, three, four, uh, output three, all good. Uh, let's submit it for unsynthesis cases as well to double check uh, it's working. So yeah, uh, it's working and we beat 70% uh, with respect to runtime, 693 milliseconds. So uh, other implementation were uh, a bit faster. So I think uh, Java, took uh, four milliseconds, uh, yeah, and Rust uh, 14 milliseconds, but yeah, it differ 
on uh, languages. So now let's uh, clear this uh, up. So it works. Uh, we save the city, but what if there is a more efficient way? So sorting take uh, time. And when you, we are yeah, saving the word, every millisecond counts. So now let's explore a second approach and this time using a counting uh, sort method. So why might uh, this be better? So counting sort uh, Excel when the range of our input is not too large and uh, it can potentially outperform a comparison based uh, sorting. So instead of sorting uh, arrival times, uh, we will directly count how many monsters arrive at each possible time. So this way we might uh, dodge the sorting overhead and get uh, out uh, with answer faster. So it's true for, for example, implementation in Go, uh, C++ or uh, Java. So uh, performance is uh, quite significant. Uh, so let's implement this uh, second approach. So we will uh, still calculate the time to city, but instead of sorting, we will use these times to increment our counter. So this is where we uh, see the magic of uh, counting uh, sort. So uh, first let's uh, import. Yeah. From math import sale, because I don't know, uh, it's probably yeah not a default diff import uh, on lead code. And then n will be len of uh, distance, uh, adjusting distance to the tailing of the division by speed. So for i in range n distance equal sale of distance and speed. Uh, yeah, speed at i. And yeah, speed i will be zero. Okay, and then counting, uh, counting uh, the number of monsters for each time unit. So for num uh, in distance if num greater than n, uh, continue. And yeah, speed num plus one and checking if the count exceed the time indicating a monster has reach the city. So for i in range uh, 1 to len speed, speed will be uh, plus speed at i minus 1. And if speed at i greater than i, return our i. Otherwise, return return n. So uh, as you can see, uh, we have uh, three uh, loops. So basically, uh, yeah, the time complexity uh, should be here uh, about O n. Uh, previous because of sorting, it was uh, O uh, n log n. So in theory, uh, for some specific inputs, it might even uh, be faster. So uh, let's run it and uh, see. Uh, so yeah, 63 milliseconds, uh, all pass perfectly. So now time to submit it for unsynthesis cases as well. And yeah, so uh, we get uh, six, yes, 706 milliseconds versus uh, 693 milliseconds for first approach. Uh, second was uh, slower here, but uh, yeah, for example, uh, in uh, let's say Java, it took four milliseconds beating 100% versus uh, first approach taking 
22 milliseconds with sorting. Uh, same with uh, C++, so uh, yeah, 110 milliseconds, first approach versus second approach, 18 milliseconds, beating 97%, uh, I think, with uh, Go, it was also uh, yeah, better, so 93 milliseconds, beating 93, yeah, uh, percent, second approach, uh, versus, uh, uh, 160 milliseconds, so uh, also 160 milliseconds, 93%, but yeah, in milliseconds, a bit uh, faster, and uh, with respect to Java and C++, you can see uh, the difference. It, probably in Rust, it was also, yeah, 14 milliseconds versus uh, 14 versus 30 milliseconds, so yeah, uh, performance is seen, and as for Python, I think uh, it's probably because uh, default sort uh, using uh, n log n is uh, quite efficient in uh, Python, and uh, that's the reason for a not so big difference here. Yeah, so, uh, and there you have it, uh, counting sort uh, brings us a victory once again, uh, potentially even faster for a larger data set with a limited range of arrival uh, times. Uh, so yeah, uh, I will provide implementation to uh, other languages in the description below. And as always, uh, stay motivated, uh, keep practicing. And if you like this video, uh, make, uh, yeah, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more uh, challenges, uh, coding adventure, uh, tech, machine learning, and much more uh, if you want, obviously. And yeah, so most importantly, keep practicing, stay motivated, happy coding, and 